Greetings in the name of Jesus. Maybe you remember who I am. My name is Garrett Elford, and I serve as pastor at Christ Lutheran Church in Eden Prairie. Recently, your congregation watched a video giving information about the possibility of mission work in the nearby city of Carver. The video concluded by asking the question, what might we do in Carver? There wasn't that much concrete information given about how we might go about this. The intent was for those who watched the video to start getting interested in this project in general and maybe develop some of their own ideas about it. This video that you are watching now is meant to give you the concrete information you've been waiting for, information about what you can do to start getting involved. There are two ways that you can help. One would be to provide temporary help to this project, and the other would be to become a member of a core group. If you were to make yourself available for temporary help, that would include tasks like preparing flyers, maybe going door to door in Carver with a community survey, or other tasks that we don't know yet that we need to do. To get involved in temporary help isn't to say that you'd be willing and able to do all these things, but you could be asked to help when something comes up. You would be getting involved in this as needed. Or you could get involved as a member of the core group. It would be to really join the mission with the hope that this mission will lift off. You'd be giving of your time, your offerings, and your prayers. In other words, mission work in Carver is something you'd be committed to. To volunteer to help in Carver, you could put your name on either list. Were you to make yourself available for temporary help, you'd be saying that this is something that as you're signing up, that you've decided this really is a way that you can help. Were you at this time, at this point in the process, to put your name on the list for the core group, you would be saying that you're interested in thinking about it, not that you've made that big decision yet. But we would just like to know who's thinking about this. At this point, you're not making a definite contractual decision. How can you get your name as an individual or as a family on one of these lists? You can talk to your pastor or email me at pastor at christlutheran.com. Thank you for taking the time to think about this and to pray about it. Together, we will tackle the exciting question, what might we do in Carver? God bless your day.